the names Kahenkyo, the game's Pokemon Duel. And here we are again, yet to another episode of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I opened a lot of boosters, and it all happened while my screen recorder wasn't recording. I am very sorry about that. But I got a few nice uh, pulls out there. I got myself another Rhyperior. I got myself another Magmortar. And basically that was all the exciting stuff that happened. Everything else was just uncommon or rare or, or useless, absolutely fusion food. So, it was about the rest of the gems, as you can see, worth of, of popping. In any case, let's uh, jump right straight into the deck that I'm uh, running right now. I'm running a almost dark energy deck because I've just got wrecked by a Cosmo energy deck and I got so, so salty about it that I decided, hey, I'm just gonna use the Dark Energy Plate and see what uh, pops up. So, as I was doing that, I was actually having uh, Eveltal switched for Moltres. And I managed to evolve my Pupitar, uh, Pupitar, 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 whatever, to um, a non-casted Cosmo Energy Plate uh, Deoxys Speed Form. It evolved to a Dark Tyranitar. And then I put my Greninja on the field, and then I activated my Dark Energy, and the game started steamrolling. I enjoyed it so much, because whatever I would attack, it would actually stay there and, you know, take the beating. So, that, that went pretty, pretty, pretty good. But then again, I lost a game from, as I said, Amoltres being in the deck, because I couldn't evolve my Pupitar in time, because he used his, uh, his card straight away. Heatran. I started using it very effectively for surround kills on the goal, for some uh, for on the uh, entry points, for attacks, like Magma Slide is amazing, I have that maxed out. I will probably switch it out on level 5 and put the Iron Head, because Magma Slide and Crunch will uh, fuse almost with the mist going away completely, and when the Magma Slide lands and I'm on Confusion, it's gonna rather switch to Crunch, which I'm gonna also chain level to 71, once I get some cubes or whatnot, but that is just in the distant plants. Uh, for the time being, I'm leveling up my Zabdos. That's my uh, one Pokemon that it's been throughout all, absolutely all the decks because of the gold 100 attack damage uh, skill. It is absolutely phenomenal. It won me so many games. Thank you, Zabdos. I couldn't thank you enough. So let's go and jump right into a battle. The format will be changing a little bit because the videos are getting either ridiculously long or ridiculously short. It's nothing, nothing in between. So I'm going to be doing just one battle at a time, trying to climb my rating up. I'm on 2600 right now. I uh, will probably try to get it to 28-ish, uh, 100, and see what happens. Okay, a Reuniclus deck. That is actually pretty decent, but 2271 red player. I don't trust the red though. I've been burned by it, underestimating the opponent. A Reuniclus deck never should be taken lightly. Latios and Shuppet shenanigans. Okay, he has a Pokemon that he can lose absolutely at any given mo moment of time. I will try to rush my uh, my Pupitar on the Shuppet if he tries anything ridiculous. And I will block the uh, Latios with my Deoxys, if so. Okay, so, straight away, double chance of Pupitar. And hopefully we get that Shuppet killed. Don't will a wisp me. 20 to 10, I take it. I absolutely take it. I kill it. And I will evolve, yes. I have the chain level on the Tyranitar to 121 Earthquake. I was really hectic about it, 121 or 100 and, or the 71 damage. But then again, I thought I'm using this against a Psychic deck type, so I'm gonna be probably needing in the most against Reuniclus's. Basically 121 to there, 120 would give me the edge I needed. What is this? 121. So that is the one that can counter me if at all want if he wants to. Let's hope he doesn't go aggressive right now and doesn't attack so I can use my Cosmo Energy Plate. Okay, he doesn't. Very nice. Very nice. Nah, not Cosmo Energy. I'm very sorry. My Dark Energy Plate. And that means that I cannot be killed by the Latios and the Reuniclus's with uh, my Dark Pokemon Eveltal, Greninja, and... Uh, so I absolutely need to double chance this. My secondary double chance, that's why I always carry two now. And take over this Latios. 
It's gonna be a psychic to a psycho boost. I'm gonna take it. I'm absolutely not gonna respect anything. Kill the Latios and take him out of the battle. Honestly, I believe Latios and Latias aren't that strong to be having the hallucination, not get knocked out right away. I believe that there should be a change, like move to the PC and gain weight for, I don't know, five turns or something. Something ridiculous like that, like that. But not a complete elimination. I know that the taking out of the field, uh, out of the uh, battle, is pretty uh, common right now with uh, the Zekrom and Reshram, with the uh, with the Genesect, the plates, the uh, force remove plates or whatnot. Mm, I still don't believe that it is something that should be as a passive to a Pokemon that just doesn't have a miss and is strong against small fry. Like that is a Pokemon you do yourself your quest with, not something you uh, you take to battle. I think because it it just it just messes your your things absolutely, absolutely up. So I will put my Voltal up here. As you can see, my uh, my Greninja didn't move to a PC because there's a psychic attack towards a uh, a dark Pokemon. Greninja is absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love him. I would like this dude to try and hurdle jump to any given point. Either behind the Veltal or uh, beside the, uh, the Deoxys. I wouldn't mind any waste of, uh, of a hurdle jump, actually, because I know that I can surround him either way. If he jumps behind the Veltal, okay, he does the hurdle jump. That will just be waste uh, of uh, Reuniclus. I will activate my ability and just surround him straight away. He probably doesn't know about the Heatran. I've been burned by the Heatran. I've been having two Pokemon on my both entry points, three movers, and I forfeit while having the Heatran on my deck. And as I see the loose popping up, I go and face palm myself because I knew that I could actually take one of them with my Heatran. Right, like, like oh, either Magma Slide or whatever not. I, I had a chance and I didn't take it. The mod of the channel is like, don't give up. And I gave up and, <laughs> and lost, which was really... I don't know what, but I'm gonna hurdle jump my uh, my Tyranitar right here. I'm gonna force him to hurdle jump again because his hurdle jump is probably more uh, valuable than mine because of his Reuniclus deck or whatnot. So, oh, he's gonna fight me. Fight me, little bitch. I don't mind. It's unfortunately a crunch again. I've been lining that crunch more than ever, so hopefully I can chain level that up to 100. 271 at least to have a decent chance to get anything else But it's not gonna be kicked out because Dark energy bitch so I can use it as many times as I want the only drawback is the weight Because the dex is if the car if he, he slur, blur, blur, English, please if he lost rolls a dimensional slip. He's not knocked out so it's gonna be a yellow to a sand attack. Works for me, buddy. I take it. I'm gonna advance and threaten his goal. One dodge right here is the game for us. I don't see much that he can do because I have like three dark Pokemon that he attack. And my other two are very strong, like Deoxys and Zapdos. Zapdos with the yellow crazy attack. It's gonna be a brain link to 100 pump. He has another one chance to uh, spin. Anything but the 120 is good for me, so he has about a maybe 20% chance of kicking me out. So I've confused Ray and we take the game home. I'm absolutely happy about that. I don't care about his rating, I just care about taking over Reuniclus teams. I want to discourage everybody who plays Reuniclus because it's ridiculously strong. And uh, I consider it broken. Yes, I've used it at some point in the game, but then I realized just how broken it is and... Uh, Went against it, started doing my own shenanigans to counter that. And with the Dark Plate, plate coming in, I think it's a really decent uh, addition to counter that. Dark Energy and Dark Pokemon will be the next uh, the next meta, I'm guessing. The counter meta to the decks. It's gonna be like two sides on which people will fight over the uh, territory or whatnot. So, this will conclude our video for today. Only one battle. I want to keep it short, keep it interesting, keep it like to the point. In any case, 
The name's Gahan Gear of the Games Pokemon Duel, and as always, have a nice day. Catch